In today's video, I am going to explain reason why I work for scapula. I usually use myofascial release to loosen up the tension of body, and I sometimes work around contour of scapula. I work around bony structure of scapula. Reason is simple, because there are so many muscles around contour of scapula. Okay, so many muscles around scapula. That means if I work around scapula, I can affect for many muscles simultaneously, right? If I focus on one muscle, of course it's a good thing. If I work on one muscle, I only affect one muscle, of course. But if I work around scapula, around bony contour, I can affect for many muscles same time. Of course, working on one muscle is good thing, but I sometimes work around bony structures. Let's check what kind of muscles are around bony structure. This is superficial layer. You see this bony bump? This is spine of scapula spine of scapula. Around sc spine of scapula, many muscles around here, such as this one. This is trapezius. Trapezius. When trapezius gets tight, it can be one cause for stiff shoulder, particularly around this area. This symptom is very common among office workers, people who use computer a lot. Thus, to loosen up trapezius around here, I sometimes work around spine of scapula. Reason is simple, because trapezius attaches to here. Simple, right? Then, deltoid also attaches to spine of scapula. Deltoid. This is big shoulder muscle. When this part gets tight, shoulder mobility decreases. That also makes sense. Let's go to deeper layer. Okay, trapezius and deltoid are gone. Then what kind of muscles are around spine of scapula? What muscle is here? This is part of rotator cuff. This is supraspinatus. Supraspinatus. And what about this muscle, particularly on superior part? This is infraspinatus. Infraspinatus. So, if I do myofascial release around spine of scapula, I can affect for supraspinatus and infraspinatus. Of course, this is not only the place I work for infraspinatus. I, of course, work around mid part and inferior part. It depends on where tightness is. But if you want to be efficient, it's better to work around bony structure. I don't say this is ultimate technique for everything. Human body is very complicated, so there is no 100% guaranteed therapy. I'm just giving you new idea to look anatomy and how you work around muscles and bone. Then let's go to medial part. This is medial border, literally medial border. What kind of muscles are around here? Two muscles, this one and this one. Smaller one is rhomboid minor. Bigger one is rhomboid major. Rhomboid major. These two guys bring scapula to midline. That bring scapula towards thoracic spine. When this muscle gets tight, that inhibits movement of scapula a lot. When this guy gets tight, 
that also inhibit movement of shoulder because movement of scapula and movement of shoulder joint is strongly related. I explain this mechanics for another video, so please check that out if you are interested. Now, let's go to the other place. I was talking about medial border and there is lateral border. It's about here. See, many muscles are around lateral border. Lateral border, what kind of muscles are there? It's like this one. This is teres major. Teres major. This one is teres minor. And around lateral border, there is of course infraspinatus. Infraspinatus doesn't attach to lateral border, however, it's pretty close to lateral border. That makes sense. They are all shoulder rotator. Infraspinatus does external rotation. Teres minor does external rotation. Teres major does internal rotation. So they are all shoulder rotator. And one more muscle. You see this big muscle. This is latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi kind of attaches to this angle and slightly around lateral border. Very slight. It's about here. It's tiny, tiny bit, but it still attaches to scapula. So when latissimus dorsi gets tight, it of course inhibits movement of scapula. Ha, huh, that's so interesting, right? Then I want to add one more place. That's here. This is superior angle. Superior angle, one muscle attaches to here. This is levator scapula. This is important for stiff shoulder, like trapezius. By the way, superficial to levator scapula, there is trapezius, like this. It's very common that trapezius and levator scapula get tight simultaneously. So levator scapula is also important for stiff shoulder because trapezius and levator scapula around same place. Just depth is different. Layer is different. Okay. So these guys are about posterior part of scapula. Let's go to anterior view. This is anterior view. You see this bony bump? This is part of scapula. It's on anterior part. This is coracoid process. Coracoid process. Three muscles attach here. First one is this one. This is pectoris minor. Pec minor. Pec minor. This is also important for scapular movement, like rhomboid. When this muscle gets tight, oh my gosh, that affects for so many things, such as ribcage movement, scapular movement. Then, when this muscle gets tight and inhibits scapula, shoulder movement is inhibited as well. Freaking important. Next one. This is it. This is biceps brachii, particularly short head. That's the biceps. Biceps brachii, short head. It attaches to coracoid process. That means scapula. Yet biceps can move shoulder joint. Deep to biceps brachii, there is one more muscle. This is coracobrachialis. Coracobrachialis. 
Because this muscle attaches to coracoid process that also can move shoulder. Ah, so important, right? And coracoid process is kind of tiny, tiny place compared to medial border and lateral border. However, in this such a tiny place, three muscles are attaching around here. No wonder this tiny tightness affects both scapular movement and shoulder movement. In today's video, I explain why I focus on contour and bony structure of scapula. Reason is simple. There are so many muscles around bony structure, such as spine of scapula, medial border, lateral border, coracoid process, and superior angle, right? So if I work around bony contour, I can affect for so many muscles in same time. Again, working for each specific muscle is of course good thing. I sometimes do that, but I just emphasize I'm trying to give you new idea. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.